Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel AXGen and ProteinX. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about how to eliminate mycoplasma from the cell culture, mechanism of the antimycoplasma agents, and also some names of uh, antimycoplasma agents. In my previous video, I talked about the overview of the mycoplasma. So let's begin. So first, you need to know that what is mycoplasma. Mycoplasma is the genus of the bacteria, and uh, its class is the molecules. And cell wall is absent, so this is a big difference in between mycoplasma and the bacteria. So this is the structure of the mycoplasma. It contains mycoprotein membrane, soluble protein, ribosome, DNA, and the soluble RNA. So here is the difference in between the bacteria and mycoplasma. Bacteria has the cell wall, so this is what some broad spectrum antibiotics like penicillin and streptomycin that we normally use for the cell culture to kill the bacteria. So this kind of this kind of antibiotic uh, antibiotic they works by interfering the cell wall synthesis, but in case of the mycoplasma it does not work because uh, mycoplasma has no cell wall. So for killing the mycoplasma we need to use some different kind of the antibiotics that does not work by interfering the cell wall synthesis. So this kind of antibiotics their uh, mode of the actions in different way. So let's have a look that what kind of antibiotics are it, are we Mm, useful to kill the mycoplasma. So there are three classes of the antibiotics that kill mycoplasma when used at relatively low concentrations and those are tetracycline, quinolones and macrolides. So these three different antibiotics their mode of the actions are different. Dif so let's have a look at the mechanism of these macrolides. So macrolides basically it bind the bacterial 50s ribosomal subunit causing the blockade of the bacterial protein synthesis. So basically uh, this is the 50s ribosomal subunit and the mRNA complex. So macrolide bind in the 50s ribosomal subunit and then eventually the, it blocks the protein synthesis. So next is the tetracycline. So tetracycline it enter to the bacteria cell by passive diffusion and then uh, it bind near the 30th ribosomal subunit. So here also like amino acid tRNA that bind in the 30th ribosomal subunit but tetracycline uh, block the position where the amino acid tRNA it bind. So then uh, it eventually the inhibit the protein synthesis. So uh, the, this is a difference between the tetracycline and uh, the macrolide. And next is the quinolones. So quinolones mechanism of actions is different rather than the other two antibiotics. So we know the, uh, the supercoiling happens in the bacterial DNA. So this supercoiling uh, actually it interfere the DNA replication. So this is why there are some enzymes uh, present like DNA gyrase and topoisomerase 4. These are the type 2 topoisomerase. So this kind of and this kind of enzymes they modulate or uh, remove this kind of supercurling and help the DNA replication process to to uh, to execute smoothly. But the quinolones, it inhibit this kind of topoisomerase DNA gyrase and the topoisomerase 4. So eventually, the blocking the DNA replication and cell division. So by this way, quinolones interfere the cell division by interfering uh, by uh, blocking this kind of uh, topoisomerase. All right. So next is the uh, there are some kind of uh, agent available in the market. Those are the plasmosins. This plasmosin is a widely used drug that clear most of the mycoplasma present in the cell culture media. So this is available in the different uh, manufacturer. So you can use directly. And also there are some other kind, other um, uh, kind of agents available. So you can also use this kind of uh, antimicroplasma agent for killing the killing the mycoplasma but uh, two different antibiotics two different antibiotics when you used at the same time 
so it has the synergistic effect but uh, there is one solution that antimicroplasma agent don't add in the cell culture uh, media directly in the bottle so it may degrade and it may it may uh, reduce the potency of the antimicroplasma agent so this is what you need to use it directly to the cell culture media during the cell culture process all right so this is all about the antimicroplasma uh, agent and their use and the mode of actions so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please and please subscribe my channel and if you have any queries kindly write in the comment sections thanks for watching